Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. In the last episode, uh, well the last Necromancer episode, uh, we got two bits of Inaris' set which is, you yeah, know, it's okay. It's, uh, it's not what we were expecting by any means but uh, it's certainly going to help us out in the uh, for the moment. Uh, so we've retired Born's set. Uh, that means that our bone armor is going to be doing a bit more damage uh, as we go through. We still need Danetti's binding. We still need all the rest of the pieces of the Masquerade at the Burning Carnival. Um, yeah, it's it's not going as quickly as I would like, but we do have Bane of the Stricken. We do have Zai Stone of Vengeance, and we do have Bane of the Trapped. So we can work on leveling these up at least. And uh, speaking of, uh, we're going to be running, let's say, level 27 rifts for the moment, just while we go through and do this. Are you ready? Then your trial begins. Yeah, I mean, Bone Armor does a decent, decent grip of damage now. It was already doing an okay... Ow... Uh, an okay amount of damage before, but it just, yeah, it feels a little bit punchier. And of course being... Yeah, look at that. Being on a slightly higher... Ow. Difficulty does mean that we're obviously going to be in a bit more danger, but I think we'll be fine. We're killing things fast enough, it's mostly our survivability. If we get Donetti's binding, then uh, obviously that'll help us out massively. Uh, that's the one that gives 50% uh, damage reduction when someone is affected by one of our curses. Which is almost all the time, I think. Now, as always, when transitioning from one character to another, there is a moment where it takes me uh, just a second to find my feet with them and uh, get things working properly. I've got to remember that we do have our wonderful uh, Nemesis braces on. And with the shield piling, obviously it doesn't really matter too much, but I still like to make sure we're in a position to actually stun everything with our armor before we uh, before we properly click on those pylons and shrines. Grab these. Yeah, that extra 10% um, cooldown from uh, from Born's shoulders does actually make a significant difference to the way you play. If you're used to hammering the buttons as I am, Our shield is gone, so we do need to be careful. <clears throat> but we're keeping about double time, which is what I tend to aim for. And I'm not feeling like we're in massive danger. Yes, it is a bit more dangerous, but that's mostly because we're level 27 rather than level 25. Uh, let's keep away from those. Needless to say, the sooner we uh, migrate across to using the full carnival set, the better it'll be for us. It's 
Stab, stab, you guys are done. Oh, I didn't kill them all instantly. That's a shame. Speed pylon. This turns our scythe into, well, not quite a, a, a chain scythe, but uh, maybe a pneumatic powered scythe. It definitely works for us. As far as pylons go, it's uh, it's one that I'm quite fond of. Especially when they've got affixes that link their health together. Stabity stabity. It is funny, both of our characters have ended up with a little bit of stabbing action. Uh, whether it's via impale fan or knives or, you know, just hitting them with a massive scythe. Okay, let's uh, dodge that poison slightly. And it's on to the next level. Oh yeah. Big hits. Big hits I can get behind. Uh, we're definitely lagging behind the uh, Demon Hunter now. Um, no two ways around. The Demon Hunter's made it up to Torment 10. I don't know if the Demon Hunter will survive at Torment 10. Uh, but uh, having found the Elusive Ring, um, that's, that's like a big, big thing. Ninety-eight percent. These guys will definitely finish it off. Okay, which Rift Guardian have we got? It's Erethon. Have a mage. Stay still long enough away from poison for me to actually get some stabs on you, mate. Yeah, we've got some gloves. And teardrop of the Star Weaver. Okay, we are mm, seventy percent. Let's start putting in Bane of the Trapped. At least we've got that uh, as a guaranteed thing. Oh, that's more Inarius's gloves. Well, actually. Switching over to that, I could make us Sage's Helm for the moment. I need to go back. We'll still get the benefit of the Sage's set, but we'll get four bits of Inarius' set. That is a that is a sensible transition. Uh, I shouldn't have salvaged up the, the Sage's Helmet before. I realised that once I uh, once I did it. So uh, Helm, Sage's Apogee. We've got plenty of resources, so it's not a big big issue. Hmm. I would prefer intelligence and, and vitality. Well, I suppose we can... That vitality is a low roll. Let's craft another. That vitality is a better roll. I wonder, can we re-roll that bone spear damage into, into intelligence? We might be able to. Uh, let's hand this in first, and uh, then we'll head up and talk to Miriam. Because this just seems sensible, if that's possible. Yes, we can. I'm going to want better intelligence than that, though. It's, it can go up to 750.
This is a waste of death's breaths. Right, 683. That's that's a good enough compromise. So we're still getting double death's breaths. We are quite a bit tougher, and we're going to have more damage reduction. This is this is going to help us at our current level. Uh, I want Shen. Let's uh, let's try and make a better diamond. Oh, we can make royal diamonds. Great. Okay, uh, let's make a royal diamond then. Lovely. It's a little bit of an extra cooldown reduction. It, it is tiny, but uh, it's it's worth considering. Okay, so we're not using the carnival set right now. Um, that's fine. Um, it is mostly for that uh, that extra damage reduction because three percent damage reduction per enemy hit is huge. It is massive, and we're going to be constantly popping it. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that really stacks up. Salvage those up. Points in over here and here. Yeah, it's it's kind of acting as like a, a poor man's Donetti's binding for the moment. And uh, we do have another greater of keystone. So let's let's put this up to torment seven and let's see how terrifying it feels. This does not feel terrible. I mean, it's hard to say how much damage reduction we're going to be getting at any one time because, I mean, it's it's obviously cooling off. But for the moment, it's it's going to be good enough. It's going to be good enough. And if we hit, if we have to use Inaris' set in order to get us to a position where we can properly do the carnival set, then I'm fine with that. It might be that it's just damage reduction per stack of bone armor and it's just badly crazed, at which point it's a 30% damage reduction, which is certainly nothing to turn your nose up at. It's enough for us to put the difficulty up to Torment 7, which is really the big thing. Hey, no knockbacks. So, Inara is the set accidentally helping us move uh, move forwards. Who'd have thunked it? Which means the most intelligent thing for us to do when gambling for stuff now is going to be uh, looking for uh, slots where there would be crossover between Inaris' set and uh, Carnival set. Uh, so we've got like shoulders, we've got um, gloves, we've got the chest piece. So we'd want to start gambling for trousers or boots. Certainly the ranged mobs aren't as terrifying as they were previously, which is exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, you, know, you get a bad rift and uh, you do feel like your life is properly in danger. And with so many ranged mobs, this rift could have been a terrible one. Okay, let's get the shield pylon, seeing as it's right here.
Come back now, your shield's gone. Yeah, significantly better. Shield Pilot, of course, skews things slightly, but the entire thing has felt manageable. And I am liking the extra damage we're getting from Bone Armor. That's quite noticeable as well. Not quite going to get the Rift Guardian in this part, but uh, it's certainly not a slow Rift. That much is for certain. So that was one Bone Armor and then one swing of the uh, Scythe to take that group out. Guardians do take a moment to take down, but they're not not challenging at this point. We've got a ring. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe it'll be the ring we want. Okay, that idea, it doesn't look like it. Uh, and yeah, Bane of the Stricken. One. No, I'm not going to risk nice. Percent. Rogar's huge stone. Bloody hell. One, two, three, four. Back to town we go. And uh, we'll hand this in and we can do some gambling. Uh, I want to salvage up first though. Mm -hmm. Probably should have done the gambling first. So in terms of uh, death breath, we've got eight. That's not gonna be uh that's not gonna be enough for us to really do anything worthwhile. The real shame from this, if we move away from it, is we're going to lose that um, damage dealt and damage taken thing. So I might end up wanting to swap sages. Yeah, so if we get another bit uh, from either of these, what I would do is I would make the belt Captain Crimson's and we would just retire the sages set completely. So... Boots or trousers? Boots or trousers? Let's go boots. I cannot afford that. Negatory. Negatory indeed. Okay, I guess we're gonna try and get some more uh, Great Rift Keystones. We are up to Garrigan level 188. That is going really well. I don't know if you can you can see on the side, but my cat is licking one of the cables that... Amos. No, buddy. You've got, you've got food over there. Did you forget to eat again? Such a weird cat. I mean, all, all cats are amazing. And all cats are weird. No, wait, I was supposed to put the difficulty up. Uh, leave. Doesn't count as an abandoned rift. We only only touched it. Uh, right, game settings. Here we go. Torment seven. Let's try this again. He's properly going exploring. He's he's woken up and he's uh, he's feeling antsy. Okay, simulacrum out. Miss me. Knockbacks are annoying. I saw my mage go flying and I thought, huh, that's funny, they got the mage, they didn't get me. And then immediately after I get hit myself. There we go. Double death press. I'm I'm going to keep Sage's set for as long as I reasonably can. Because the double death breath is really good for us.
killed him with my armor. Okay, what have we got up here? A nice group. Let's uh, move us to a rather dangerous place. Unfortunately, we've we've ended up retreating forwards slightly. It's fine. We've got it. We've got it in hand. Oh my word! My my cat is all over the place. Are you trying to get out, mate? Hold on one second. What, what are you doing? Being super weird. Look, the food is right there. Luckily, with single player, you can pause in case of uh, catastrophe. nothing else we got terrible pun out of it right let's uh, do these guys quickly and then I will loot everything up yeah I don't know what he's doing he's uh he's just being a cat I think he's just trying to find somewhere where it's not quite as hot I've had to close the, uh, the door because my other cat will come in and, and eat his food. If I'm not directly supervising him, which means it does get rather warm in this room. And let's try down here. Yeah. More desperate. And if we get to the point that we're powerful enough to be running with part of Sage's uh, set at Torment 13 or Torment 16, that would be really, really good for grinding out materials. Um, but obviously we are, we are making do with what we have. Now, which way was that goblin? He was up here. There we go. Lots of stuff. Mostly materials. Uh, got some more death breaths out of that. Shield, okay. Cormac might be interested in that if it's not completely pants. But the uh, the density in this area is not the greatest. Let the mage take him out. Knocking me back into that arcane beam. A little bit, a little bit cruel. Thankfully, it was just on the very end of its uh, path, but... Ladies, your nightmarish trait is really annoying. I very much dislike running away from everything. Okay. Another nice little pack to clean out. Yeah, so um, the extra damage reduction 
Uh, it's definitely, definitely uh, what we needed in order to get to this point. But I don't see it really carrying us much further. Alright, let's push into the next area. There's a couple of skeletons back there. I thought Cormac might be able to handle them himself, but I, th I think I was probably mistaken in that assumption. All the bones coming away from these. Just ganking them out. It's like a bone-flavoured magneto. Making good progress up to 78%. Hopefully we'll get uh, two great rift keystones out of this. And up this way. Like it was probably the wrong way to go. Oh, a ring. Okay, wasn't the wrong way to go. We'll uh, we'll see what that ring is once we're done with the rift. This place is a bit more meandering than it would normally be. I feel. 190, 10 levels to go, and then we'll start boosting our power, wrath, and speed. We will, of course, still keep boosting our survivability as much as possible, though. Hey, gloves! A giant scythe as well, just lying on the floor. There's no way that fits into the chest. Unless it's one of those spring-loaded scythes. I mean, you could you could make, like, the, the haft spring-loaded, and you could make the, uh, the blade itself, like, a flip-up blade. You know, for, for all those times when you desperately need a portable scythe. Oh man, I wish I had my portable scythe right now. Yeah, those those are the times it can it can help you out. Some people try and oh my god, what is my mouse doing? Probably got a cat hair under it. Um, some people sneak uh, drinks into the club. No, some people sneak portable scythes into the nightclub. Another mage out. Come back, please. I don't think we'd want to move too much higher in terms of, uh, of difficulty. This is this is manageable. Just need to clear these guys so we can head back to town. Uh, we got some some big drops from that. Two Custerian Risk cards. Shield covered with eyes. 
maybe it wasn't actually as amazing. Let me get a glance at what that ring was. Um, oh, it's a puzzle ring. Okay. We could go to the vault. And, uh, yeah, from the bones of Rathma. That'll, that'll come over there. Oh, I mean, that's a... That is a nice Custerian wrist guards. Uh, that can actually go over here, just in case we ever decide we're going to go... Uh, Unity, actually. No, you can come... Unity should be in this one. Uh, this one will extract. Lidless wall... Is this going to help you at all? More toughness, less damage. No. Uh, yeah, I think I think we'll go to the vault. We'll do it. I could save it for uh, for the demon hunter, um, but I really fancy doing it with uh, with our necromancer. We'll get less uh, less loot, but there's always the chance we'll actually get something that's viable for the necromancer himself. Plus, we are still going to get a lot out of this. The difference between Torment 7 and Torment 10 is quite large, but it's not like our end of the universe large. And I'm sure we'll find more puzzle rings before everything is done. All Guild's Authority. I think we actually need All Guild's Authority for our um, end game plan. That's awesome. Been waiting for that. So this was this was definitely worth us doing. More death breaths. That's the other thing. Coming in here with the necromancer, we will get significantly more death breaths out of it. So, Stabity, stabity, and good fun. Ah, oh, we can't pull bones from the treasure piles. I thought it was worth worth checking if it uh, if it might affect them. But it's a it's a very specific area of effect skill. It's not like flinging a bowler at them. Just pretty useless. Okay. Lady Greed, let me let me touch your money. guy actually there we go let's get more death breaths out of this uh, no you don't mate don't go running away or maybe he will go running away
Got that one killed though. There we go. And knocked her down as well. So we got a couple of extra uh, gobbos worth of death press. And Boon of the Hoarder, a potion and a ring. Our first potion. That's very cool in itself. Okay, let's uh, let's head back. We'll have a look at uh, what we got out of this. So, 44 million in cash. Okay. Now, this is better than Avarice Band. It is not the ring I was expecting, but, uh, yeah, by Jove. I think I'll, I'll stick a socket in it. So I could re-roll that critical hit damage into a socket. Because 28% is, is not much. There we go, sockets one. So we'll use this instead of the Avarice Band. Uh, Shen, I need you to help me swap those over. There we go, double mages. Okay, let's uh, let's teach you all guilds authority, uh, and uh, should have taught Shen the royal ruby actually. So all guilds is braces and shoulders if we start using it now then we'll uh, we'll obviously lose that extra damage reduction so let's have a look at uh, at what all guilds stuff does so yeah reduces damage taken by 15% increases damage dealt by 30% and then the same from elites so it's it's worth it we're going to end up better off by doing that. We're going to lose the Nemesis Braces, which will potentially slow us down a little bit, but uh, this is this is a worthwhile transition. And this is the Resist All one, so let's bring that down. Hmm. It's not the best roll on it. That is better. So we'll uh, obviously re-roll that command golem uh, into vitality, but yeah, that is that is much better. Uh, the other bit that we'll we'll do is going to be the braces. <coughs> Slow rolls. I mean, it's got all the rolls that we would want on it, pretty much. Uh, I mean, you could change that that armor over to critical. Let's try one more. Cold skills, intelligence, but this has got better rolls on the intelligence and vitality. Really, I'm I'm not massively enamoured with this. I just kind of want both the main stats to be on there and to be over 450. That's close enough. We can re-roll that cold skills into poison. Poison skills, there we go. We don't need to spend all of our death breaths on it. Um, and at this point, I think maybe extracting Nemesis Braces would be the right thing to do. 
Uh, it'll give us the option of switching over to it if we're finding things really easy. I'll hold off for the moment. I'll hold off for the moment. So Nemesis Brace is down here. Uh, Avarice Band, I think we have... No, we've got Rachel's Ring of Larceny. So we'll put that in there, ready to be extracted. Boon of the Hoarder, that is, of course, coming across here. And uh, all of this can get salvaged up except for the Inarius's shoulders, uh, which we don't actually have somewhere for, really. I suppose we'll end up doubling them up over here. Yeah, uh, technically I'm going to need three tabs for for everything going forwards. All right, so with, with all guild stuff, uh, let's start gambling again in fact no we'll uh we'll do the gambling and upgrading after after some runs yeah i mean this this would do more damage because of that critical hit chance but losing that much toughness just just wouldn't wouldn't sit well with me Okay, so we're losing damage reduction from Bone Armor, but we're gaining damage reduction from All Guild Set. And our damage dealt is being increased as well. So let's let's try Greater Rifts and we'll see how they feel. Uh, I'll keep it at Torment 7 for now. We can definitely afford to empower though. That is a terrible... Terrible start. Let's get two mages out. Once we've got our show on the road, it'll all be fine. But ow. Yeah, we're definitely taking significantly more damage. Maybe switching to all guilds right now is not the best plan. So many things charging us and doing so much damage when they do. I mean, we are doing obviously more damage, but that is, that is so much charging damage coming in. Cormac is down, of course. Uh oh, this is potentially bad. There we go, got out of that one. Back off a tiny bit. Ow! Could it be I've actually just made us more of a glass cannon by doing this? That's kind of what it feels a little bit like. I think we'll be better off against um, uh, elites specifically. The night embraces you. That needs to be done. Right, let's go back and get that power pylon. We don't really need power pylons and we're not getting anything for using them. Uh, in the sense of uh, we're not going to summon any uh, elite packs at the moment. I think we're kind of going down here actually.
Yeah. Mortars are terrifying. Charges are terrifying. Ranged units are terrifying. This is a very dangerous rift. Maybe this part will be a bit easier. I mean, it's, it's good to have the bad rifts, to have an understanding of how, uh, how dangerous things can be. This one's got a couple of ranged things in, but really then they're, they're not doing anywhere near as much uh, trouble. We're not causing as much trouble as uh, as the previous section. Okay, ninety-seven percent. Almost rift guarding time. This is a bit of a dead end. This little loop. Shield pile, and that would be perfect if we can get that. Oh no! What the hell? Might get the shield. Okay. So we got stuck in place on top of. I need to kill this guy quickly. <laughs> we have triggered a death, but we've got a shield pile, so it's fine. Um, we got stuck in place, couldn't move. Um, it might be we got one shot and it just did like the final service thing. We still have our simulacrum out, so... We had another life as well. But, geez, that, that felt kind of terrifying. Uh, let's put these points into Bane of the Trapped. We'll head back to town and hand this in. Uh, we have run out of time for the day, so I'm going to hand this in and we'll do some, some gambling. Uh, Kadala, let's let's have a chat about those boots that I was talking about before. Uh, there they are. Okay, another bit of Inaris is set. We can, we can use that. That's fine. So we're going to make uh, a Captain Crimson's belt. Switching everything around. Captain Crimson's silk girdle. And this will swap in. So we're no longer going to get double death breaths. But we are still going to be survivable. Survivable and uh, yeah, happy enough to move. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thinking about it. We could, no, if we put them on another bit of Inaris's, we'll have four rather than five. Let's ID our stuff. I mean, the, the greaves are nice, but uh, not useful. Hey! Crispin's Sentence. That's the ring we wanted. So we'll be swapping it over this one for this. 80% increased damage against slowed enemies or triple lap bonus against enemies afflicted by any other type of thing. Uh, so we'll re-roll that uh, resource cost into a socket. Ooh, do we want to re-roll that into a socket for the moment? I suppose we could re-roll the 10% life into a socket. Okay, so we're losing a little bit of toughness, potentially. Uh, we're gaining a bit of damage, but overall... We're going to be gaining toughness because we're we're having uh, more resource cost reduction, which reduces our damage coming in. So it's all good. It's all good and it's all planned. Uh, Shen over here. 
I need you to take this out. So we'll put that in there. And I think uh, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, the rest is, uh, is just going to get salvaged or stored. So thank you very much for coming along, everyone. It's been a little bit uh, bitty. Uh, but I think we we've overall made progress, so it's not not a bad thing. Uh, I'm probably going to want this over here with these, yeah, for the skeletal mages. Um, as always, if you have enjoyed this, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Diablo 3. See you soon.